I'm a supermassive black hole found in the center of almost all massive galaxies. I'm a supermassive black hole. There are theories of how I'm formed. Come and join me and see. There are three types of black holes according to theory. Primordial, stellar, and supermassive like me. The primordial is a tiny hypothetical black hole. In 1974, Stephen Hawking theorized its role. Primordials were formed in the early universe, but we'll learn about this more when I teach that topic's course. On to the most common type called the stellar black hole. But let's first see why a star exists before it loses control. The pressure from the nuclear fuel in the core pushes outward so greatly. While the force of an equal power pushing in is caused by gravity, this equal pressure does create the star's main sequence stage. That means the star is stable in its present burning age. It starts with the sun's mass run out of nuclear fuel in its core. It becomes a red giant that quietly becomes a white dwarf. But starts with 25, the mass of your solar system sun runs out of nuclear fuel. Its gravity crushes the core and becomes a stellar. It's the most common type in the universe. Now I will tell you how I'm created, of course. I'm a supermassive black hole, the third type of black hole seen. Believed to be found in the center of any major galaxy. A black hole's a region of space with a force of gravity so strong that nothing not even like can escape. You've learned in this song how I acquired my mass is still yet to be determined. And astronomers are still working on how I'm formed, that is certain. Some think I'm formed from the collapse of a massive cloud of gas during the early stages of the formation of galaxies with mass. My parts start with the accretion disk orbiting around me. It's superheated gas and dust swirling around the singularity. The singularity is the very center of the black hole you see, made up of matter collapsed into a region of infinite density. The event horizons, the radius around the singularity, which energy and matter cannot escape the black hole's gravity. The innermost stable orbits the last place material orbit safely without the risk of falling past the point of no return in me. A photon spheres a location where gravity is so strong that light can travel in circles and orbiting the black hole are photons. Nine feet of stars, dust and gas produce jets of near light speed. Blasting particles and radiation out of my pulse as you can see. These are relativistic jets and the last part I'll talk about. Thank you for learning with me. Now I am out.